Hello! Welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we are Let's Playing Saga Frontier 2. In the last episode, we uh, defeated... Guste Gustav has defeated his uh, half-brother. Uh, he is not the king of Finny. He did not want to become king. He had a reunion with his brother and his sister. And Felipe has decided to take the throne. Now, we're at the point where Gustav has decided to live in the in this similar area we're gonna be doing this uh, <clears throat> excuse me this uh, quest here called the, or the storyline thing called the the, the uh, construction of Han Han Nova which if you remember correctly there was a uh, the, the ruins of Han around here somewhere maybe over here I don't know something over there anyways there was the ruins of Han but now we're gonna make he wants to make a new city, the construction of Han Nova. So this is this new city that he's making, where the, the people of Gustav can come and live together and all that. Allow me to introduce myself to everyone. I am the project's member. I'm one of the project members of the new city construction team. My name? No, it's not important. I'm not significant enough to name the construction of this palace and its commons are practically complete. The second phase of urban development is about to commence. Today I was summoned to explain that phase to Lord Gustave. It's like a dream for me. We may begin in orange with his majesty. I'm very nervous and worried I might disrespect his majesty. I've heard rumors that Lord Gustave can be very merciless. My wife and I cried together but this evening. We may not see each other again. Oh, I hear footsteps approaching. Why is he running? My final hours arrived. Farewell, everyone. Farewell. I kept you waiting. Now, begin your explanation. Oh, yeah, he's got this huge table. With this map here. And so, pretty much what we're going to be doing for this part is... You got the castle and the commons in the center, and then there's three, and then there's these three sections here that we're building an arc, radiating outward. Each district of city will have its own separate function, and hence I believe will raise efficiency. So now, what type of district will you build here? So. There, this city can be built, we won't have access to it for a while, but this city can be built to, ha to ha house items and stuff that you can purchase later, way later. Some that might be very good, in fact. So, um, let me explain uh, how this works. Pretty much, if you put blacksmithing districts in each one of the... Uh, blacksmith districts in each one of the uh, areas, you'll actually get more blacksmithing stuff. And blacksmithing means pretty much steel everything. Steel gauntlets, steel, steel swords, steel, uh, what the hell are they? Uh, everything. Steel rods and bows and <clears throat> what the hell am I forgetting? Staves and stuff. And then you also get steel armor, like greaves and, and uh, shields and all that stuff. So it could be a good idea if you plan on steel. Some of the steel weapons and armor and stuff that you get is actually some of the best stuff you'll get in the game. The only thing is they don't deal with anima. So uh, you'll lose a little bit of your spell casting if you do that. But you do get some of the best swords and... Uh, Excuse me, my, my voice is a little shitty today. Uh, you do get some of the swords, best swords and stuff in the game. So, if you want to go with that, you can do that, which I actually might. Then, shopping districts. What are shopping districts? Obviously, where you can purchase things. All of the places, actually, are areas where you can purchase things. So, if you want to put shopping districts everywhere, you don't have to put... You can actually have one of each, if you want, because you're going to do up the three areas. Anyways, the shopping areas are um, are a little different too. They uh, 
they actually house more, um, more tools than anything. Like, uh, all the tools that we've been getting throughout the game to uh, have different animas, different types of animas with them. You can purchase them all, and, uh, you know, they have, like, uh, I'll just read off a couple of cross branch, rock, hard, fire, charm, blue water, wind shell, beast, amulet, stuff like that. And then what they do is they sell one really good piece of armor. I believe, uh, like, uh, I'll, I'll read off some of the stuff that you can get in a little bit, but I just want to kind of explain. So, yeah, if you put three shopping districts, you'll actually get, you'll actually get some good armor that you can purchase throughout each shopping district. The armors are, mo are like the uh, armors that I got with uh, Patrick and Will, where it's pretty much a whole suit of armor, so you don't need boots, you don't need hats, and stuff like and gauntlets, you don't need that stuff, so that's not too bad. And then finally you have the Entertainment District. Now this is kind of like, uh, this is kind of like, a, uh, it's kind of an interesting thing that you could do, I'm not exactly sure what's in it too much. But the shopping stuff that you can do is you can purchase, you purchase like, um, you can actually purchase some raw tools, like ores and stuff like that, and amulets. Um, some of the stuff is actually, there's one that's actually, uh, <clears throat> which is actually, uh, like two types of, uh, anima, like a flame and a tree thing. And if you put all of, all of them as entertainment districts, you will actually get, um, you actually get you you can you can get some interesting little uh, uh, things if you put them on like little tools like a mushroom tier which will improve your stats a steel amulet and a dead stone which cancels death blow that might actually be pretty good because what death blows are is they take away one of your LP so you can you can like I said you can do one of each if you want but if you do all three in one district, all three for, or one in all three of the districts, you'll get a bonus item that you can re receive, I believe, if you do. So what I plan on doing is, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so the entertainment district means pretty much you'll be riddled with brothels, conspicuous, conspicuous characters, and really matters where you want this district out of the shop is where you can purchase tools. The shopping districts where you can purchase accessories and armors and placement on the map determines the availability of the following items. And then the blacksmith district where you can buy weapons and weapons depend on what place you are on the map. So, like I said, you can get a, uh, so right here is the, uh, west. Uh, placed in the center, placed in the north, placed in the south. So I guess this is the, the south. So if we put, so if we put a blacksmith district in the south, I know I'm explaining a lot, but this is really important for later on. So if you put the blacksmith center in the south, you can get a steel sword, steel dagger, steel gauntlet, steel greaves, field suit, and knight suit. These are all steel weapons. And then if you put all three, I believe you can get this paladin, a paladin uh, sword, which is really good. Attack plus 50, that's very good. Then if you place a, a blacksmith area in the center, which is right above where this guy's standing, you get a steel spear, paladin spear, steel dagger, gauntlet, steel grease, field suit, knight suit. So pretty much those are all the uh, spears. And then um, if you go put it in the north, you can get a steel bow, paladin bow, steel dagger, steel grease, bri uh, brigadine, steel armor, and knight shields. So that's what you would get. You gotta kind of figure out what you want. So in the shopping district, if you start from the south, you get a warlord shield. You get a cross branch, rock heart, fire charm, blue water, wind shield, beast amulet. In the center, you get reinforced suit, cross branch, rock heart, fire charm, blue water, wind shield, beast amulet. And then if you put one in the north, you get warlord's armor, cross branch, rock heart, fire charm, blue water, wind shell, beast amulet. And, uh, I don't, they didn't say what the bonus was, but you do get a bonus. 
And then finally, Entertainment District, if you start from the south. Green ore, red ore, blue ore, demon grass fang, which is a tool that, uh, water and tree, which isn't too bad. Hyper steel, which is a, uh, 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 steel thingy. Steel amulet, mushroom tear. Place in the center, you get bone breastplate, green ore, red ore, blue ore. Demon grass fang, green grass, steel amulet. And then finally in the north, bone breastplate, pop shoes, which are, are all right. Green ore, red ore, blue ore, devil's tear, dead stone. So let's see, what the hell do I want to do? Hmm. I don't know. I think, I want, I think I'm just going to do all blacksmith just because... Sorry, uh, I think I'm going to do all blacksmith because I want to get that good gear. That really good gear later. Even though it's, uh... Even though, uh... Even though, uh, let's see. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'll do. I'm going to actually... No, do I want a warlord's armor? Is that steel? No, th those are all full bo full body things. <clears throat> if I place the uh, the thing in the south, I won't get that. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Blacksmithing district. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna do one in the south because if I do, I can. I mean, you can get a paladin shield. I mean, a paladin sword. Probably the best sword that you can purchase in the game, but you can get a warlord shield if you put. If you actually now, I don't know. I'm gonna put a blacksmith and screw it. And then in the center, let's see. Uh, I'll put a reinforced armor as a full body armor. I'll put the blacksmithing again, and then up here, I'm not going to do a steel bow. I don't really care about a bow. My characters at the end probably won't do bow, bow, bow stuff. So I'll put a shopping district up here. Actually, let's just do all blacksmithing. Hell, Gustav is known as Gustav the Steel for a reason. But yeah, you gotta you gotta do this correct, otherwise you won't you won't um think about it is you won't uh if you do that <clears throat> I don't know, you'll I don't know, um that's just the way you, you can do like if you're playing it you can do it whatever way you want. I'm I'm just figuring the steel stuff's gonna be really good at the end of the game. So there you go. So that guy was pretty upset, so if you ever wanted to change anything, you'd have to do it there. So, uh, let's continue on. Continuing chronologically. Chronologically. So, construction of Han Nova, and then the Firebrand Tragedy. The Firebrand is a symbol of Finny, however, it calls forth tragedy, similar to the way it sort of did back in Gustav. So this is years later. Gustav and Hananel was already built. Therm is here. Uh, yeah. Felipe is now in charge. And he's not going the on un the firebrand because uh, undergone he is king and not a real king. So are the people bitching because he's not uh he's not Firebrand guy. Yeah, what the hell is he bitching about? Yeah, he's a great. He's the one of the Finny. Death, why? Yeah, until he attempts to firebrand. But 
this rogue was burned to death by the power of the fire brand. Not even his ashes were left behind that, and any one of that has not been initiated will run out of control and be consumed by the flames. Oh, that's why they conduct it while they're young. Oh. Well, let's see if Felipe can do it anyways. I mean, he's pretty... He seems pretty magically handle, uh, awesome, so... Look at that. See, he can do it. Uh-oh. He held it. Oh, look who it is, it's Gustave. So you've come all the way down from Han over to ridicule me, have you? Oh man, you gotta yell at him, he's just trying to be nice. Do you have a kid? Felipe too. I believe he's just turned two years old. Just wait five more years, then your son will be old enough to tempt the firebrand ceremony. Yeah. So, five years later, when little Felipe has turned uh, seven, just as Gustave did back in the day, he's going to, he's going to take on the firebrand thing here. Look at that, he was able to do it. Wait, how come King Gustave could do it? Yeah, so he will have to be the king for now. Whoa! Oh my god. Holy shit. Now he just turned into a dragon and he's taking away his son. Yeah, pretty much his son got assassinated. That's some messed up. And now Felipe is done be the new king of Finney. Wow, isn't that messed up? That is some messed up S. Alright, so... At the Mines Part 2. So, we could do the Anima Faith fiasco. So, okay, let me explain this. Alright, let's say you've been playing as Gustave the whole time, which... If you are, you'll get to this point where you'll go to the Anima Faith fiasco. Where at this point you have to play as Will. Alright, this is part of Gustave's thing, plus Will's thing. You can't progress Will's thing until you do this. And you can't progress Gustave's thing until you do this too. So, let's say you played as Gustave all the way through to that point. This will be the first time you're playing as Will, which could be very, very hard. Which is one reason why I suggest trying to play as chronological as you can, or at least playing a few Will chapters before going into Gustave's thing, because, uh, you know, if you get here and you haven't done anything with Will, this part can be pretty difficult. So, um, before we do that, we're going to actually head back to Will, who is now a tycoon, and uh, apparently he's checking out the mines once again. So let me go and this, I just got to get because this time the mines is a little different than it was before. And this is another side quest. Um, this is another side quest because this is a little different than the other one. So, let's head over here. No. Maybe 
it's over here. Nope. Over here? Nope. No. Where the hell is it? Oh, here we go. At the mines. Will accepts a job again. Prospecting for ore in the Svendorf mine. But you know what? I'll hold on to that until the next episode. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.